Um, there was a song by Cool G Rap and Polo with Biz Marquee that had a song called Erase Racism. So he actually used that. The ink is black. The page is white. So anyway, what's up, everybody? Just talking about, you know. So it's been a while. Um, holidays. Uh, we are back on here doing this because, you know, Mike and I like to get together. And we always have these conversations, especially when we started doing these videos. We got some good feedback. We always have these really insightful conversations. We go back and forth on some stuff that's like, man, what do you mean? Um, but this thing that Mike brought to Mike uh, brought to me was really fascinating. And Mike, if you could just kick it off as, as far as what we're going to be talking about today. Well, what we're going to talk hey, about Tim. is the difference between decisions and choices, mm. right? Yes. For the new year. Yes. So people make decisions, and in this model, we're going to call decisions the thought process, and actions and the emotional aspect of uh, of a choice. And a choice is the actual thing. So if you're going to make a decision to do something, the choice is what that thing is. A decision is something that can waver and that you can go back on. You can make a decision and then change your decision. But a choice is something that you did in this model. So we're going to use that as a model. So okay. we're going to we're going to look at why or what what happens in the decision process where decision gets mixed with emotion and then a choice is made. So we're going to make all sorts of choices. Uh, yes. Know, this okay. Year, right. Yeah, 2019. We're already starting to make the, the decision to make choices. Right. Yes. Yeah, well, that's, what, right. that's the thing that got me, especially around this time of year. It's like, uh, I, well, I think this is relevant because people are like, I made, a, I made a decision to lose weight, do this, blah, blah, blah. And then when they don't have it, it's like almost like, well, I made the decision to do it. They have, there's like, what, well, why isn't this successful? Well, the interesting, make choices. the interesting thing, right. Well, they didn't, they made wrong choices or they didn't make any choice at all. Mm. Because, and that's what, that's where this, uh, conversation started is that the decision isn't the choice. Right. So if you decide to lose weight, right. but you go and eat a Snickers bar after you decide that, your choice was probably not supporting your decision. Right. So it's also it's also got that element of what are you supporting at any given time. Yes. So yes. you have to make a decision and then support your choice. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you go. You know, wait, wait, wait. The way you make a decision to support the choice, you make a choice to support the decision. You make a decision and then support it with the choice. With your act, with well, the, the choices the, are the actions. The choices are the actions. Okay. So it's, it's, a, it's, again, it's something you can't really take back or a decision you can change back and forth. So you can decide to, to you know, go on a diet and then you can d make a choice to eat a Snickers bar and then you can go, wait, that didn't line up with my decision and make another choice. Right, right. See this is why I think this is choice. this is why this is really helpful here because and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna you know Mike Mike and I are branding <laughs> uh, I just think like when people make these resolutions is bullshit okay I feel like because people are like I'm gonna make a choice to get promoted this year but then you don't do anything out of the ordinary to step your game up you don't I, make a choice to develop I gotta say I saw I I listened to and saw the coolest stuff by this lady this new lady that I found her name's Andrea Hess okay and this woman is phenomenal at communicating this idea and what her idea is is when you make the decision and the choice you're actually your ego comes swooping in all of a sudden and your ego looks at the whole thing and Andrea if you watch this I'm paraphrasing so I'm trying to do your thing um, but yeah, it's really it's, important. It's already changed my life already. Yeah. Is okay. So the ego swoops in and says, "Okay, so we're, you made a decision, um, and you made a choice, and now things are going to be different." But you usually do that temporarily. So we're going to pretend this is temporary. Mm -hmm. So this diet thing for five days ish is temporary. Right. And everything's supported like it's temporary. Then all of a sudden, five days passes and you're still doing it, and your ego goes, "Ruh right. roh." It's it goes into fight or flight, but it goes into flight. It goes, "Listen, we got to get out of here because we don't know the consequences of this. We thought it was only temporary. Um, the consequences of this, we knew what eating Snickers bar consequences was. We get a sugar buzz, we get a little yeah. fat, but who cares? We don't know what it's going to be like to not eat 
as much or to eat clean or how long that's going to take or whatever. Okay. And then the longer it comes in, now all of a sudden you got, you're, you're in it and it's a longer time and then fight comes in and that's when things are actually cool. And that's what she says. She goes, listen, things get cool when fight comes in because all of a sudden you're like, I'm in fight mode. I'm going to do this. I'm really going to do this. I've been doing it for five days. I've done, well, I did make the right choice and ego keeps trying to come in and swoop down and give me all the reasons. That's that whole thing we were talking about also before is self-talk. So the ego is in there going, you know what? Yes. Yes. Other stuff, just one. M&M. And it's a sultry voice just too, <laughs> especially right. Yeah, just one, one, one M M&M and M with peanuts in the herd. It's protein. And then, it's and then like, you got hey, commercials you know, going. You can't eat Snickers. just one. That's nice. Yeah. Like, I think that's so that's so messed up, man. Because like people are trying to get diets and stuff right now, and this is the environments that we're just naturally in is we're not consumer. Naturally. Consumer, like yo, you're gonna take this in. So listen, this is interesting you said about um, the self-talk because Matt Todd just wrote something here. He said, he said, um, thanks for informing the world, uh, world. Oh man, brother, love you too, man. But he, he also mentioned, and he also mentioned the super important to it, to discuss the power of words. Oh yeah. And every word has a vibration and a frequency. Every, every word, word, every word, and that in turn can impact the choices that you make that are supposed to be in line with the decision. But it's still about action, you know. It's still it's, always, it's, it's about always. action, but that but those those vibrations in your head. Yes, words are very powerful. Very so, powerful. So coming back to this uh, to the decisions and choices, I think it's important because um, to to dive into this a little bit more. Um, because when we make a decision for something, what what do you see as? Um, well, when we make a decision on something, right, and then the cho- the choices are to act. Well, what are people doing that? What do you suggest people do in those moments to shift that perspective you're talking about where it's like, okay, I'm in the fight, like, ah. Uh, look no look what the support, look what, look what decision you made and look how to support it with an action. So the choice okay. is the action. Like the in-between is the support. Mm-hmm. I remember going to the pool, and this isn't funny at all, but um, this but lady, <laughs> but I'm laughing because <laughs> yeah. this was so stupid. This lady pulls this kid Words. out of the pool. Okay. No, no, it was. Wow. Believe me, this I, I don't say stupid much, but that was this was stupid. This lady pulls this kid out of the pool by his arms, right? right? And he's like a little kid, and she she smacks him, and she goes, "You don't hit people. You don't hit people. I taught you not to hit people." Oh, and I'm like, "Wow, what? while she's what? <laughs> while she's hitting this kid." Now that again, that's not funny. It's stupid, and. It's just, it shows that sometimes, you know, people go east to find a sunset. You know, they go, hey, I'm going to go over there. And then they right. shoot over there. You know, you got to look at what you're supporting. See, this, this, when you say that, it's like, the cho- I, I just see that the choices in a lot of ways can be unconscious. Like someone could say, like I put something yeah, about beliefs. Yeah, an action could be. Yeah, an action could be unconscious because if people are more used to, if people are diving into why they're making that change and there's no anchor there, right? Then people can say, okay, I made a decision to do something. If they're not anchored in that, they may unconsciously make a choice that has nothing to do with the decision they made. Like, right, okay, and right? You, have to, you have to stay on course because no matter what the voices say, you know, whether I, whether I took my car and ran over your foot, mm-hmm or not, right? and I was unconscious when I did it, your foot's still broken. Dude. Right. Your foot hurts. That was you know, something. and I that can't take that back. And, and, a, and a choice is something really you can't. <laughs> that, was like, that hurt me. I know. <laughs> My foot is fine. But getting back to your friend and, and words, too, um, you're, you're also talking about choice words. Yeah. Oh. You know? oh so yeah. so okay. you can't really okay. you can kind of choose your self talk, but it's it's really funny. Okay. So now we're gonna come full circle around. Bring it back. So Bring if it back. so if we have bad self talk and we're getting mm-hmm. in, into self talk and we're going down the rabbit hole with self talk, what gets us beyond self talk? Like if you're trying to fix your mind with your mind, what's the cure for that? Uh, I mean. You want as my recommendation? I know what your recommendation is. I just hope that <laughs> look, it's for, a test. Yeah, for me, I'm I, I'm talking to it. It's motion. Yes. Well, 
For me, motion is like mind. engaging it. Yeah. Most like emotion is moving through the emo moving through something, like not staying stuck in something. Yeah. Like l physically. But but physically. The, but the motion is a metaphor and actually can be that bridge sometimes in a choice where you got self talk and so you're not acting. So let's do another action that's really good for you anyway. Right. And then come back to it. Like do a yoga pose, do qigong, do something else, take right. a run. Go lift weights. Do something else if your self-talk is bad. Don't just keep arguing with yourself. You're never going to win. This or you're never going to lose. What is yeah, it? It's, well, um, <laughs> yes. Yes. It's no, not. See, see it's now, not. this is one of the things I love about having a conversation with this guy. And I'm so, it's so wild that you all are experiencing this time. Because it's like, <laughs> damn. But, like, see, this this piece here, I feel, is, is, is really resonant because... Now it's like um, we're talking about the self-talk, right? And I feel like the motion, why exercise is so important, not even just like, hey, I want to get six-pack abs, or I want to lose weight. Right, yeah. It's about the energy blockages. Because yeah. like, in, in, if we're looking to make a decision, there's a calling within us that's like, hey, I want to shift and change because something feels better for me. Our mind gets us caught up in like, this unconscious choice, well... But that you know, ego, it's a protector. It's it's right. all, it's all, it's amazing how much of this is protection. Yes. Now, the thing why I'm saying, yeah, it is protection. Now, the thing why the physical activity or doing something consistently, doing something physical consistently is important because that's a way energetically to combat that yep. self-talk. It's like you're doing something consistently. Like, you know, every day I do pull-ups and dips. Because, like, yeah. I don't want to do post and dips, especially when it's raining outside and it's cold. But, like, you know what? It's a way for me to start the day and be like, I got to win. I made a choice. And this is, like, where I feel like um, where more people, if they started to just take a step back, and if they're looking at the choice that they make, because a lot of it can be unconscious. I'm stressed out. I'm well, eat this well you, what but already, when you get up to do the dips, yeah, you are already making a choice and doing it. Before you even can say, I don't want to do it, I don't, I don't feel like it, you do it, that builds self-esteem mm. because you already made a choice and made it. So, okay, so what's the next choice I can do? What's the next right, choice what's I can get into? Yeah, what's the next works. choice I can actually do and conquer? Mm. Because that one was, that's a piece of cake. You do that every day, you conquer it, and you go, listen, I can conquer choices. I can <laughs> conquer that mind stuff. But the, but the protection aspect of it is really interesting because your, your ego really wants you to just not change, not do anything, stay stuck, stay, sit in the chair, and do nothing because it thinks that that will keep you alive. Yes. Status that's, quo you just said is what you want. No pressure. You just said it. It thinks. Yeah, it does think. It thinks if you can keep you alive. Like the, 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 but the it's problem, you too. Right, I get that. Yeah. But also it's a body feel. Right. Because if we start living in our head, now all of a sudden it's like we'll try to rationalize the situation, a scenario, rather than feeling through it. That's why I feel like we are right now. A lot of the scenario, a lot of the spaces that people are in, it's like, okay, well, I want to I wanna get on this latest um, whatever it is, diet, um, health kick, coaching, what have you. And it's like, okay, well, you, you, know, you want to make this choice, but are you ready to make that choice? Or you, you want to make that decision, but are you ready to make that decision? By the choices that well, you Well, if you make the decision, you know, Napoleon Hill calls a decision a cutting away from. So in this, you're actually it, doing decision choice. You're actually putting emotional and some kind of self-talk or whatever in between it. And then the choice is the action. So the decision, the way he talks about it sometimes, is a cutting away from. And the decision, yeah, if you look in Think and Grow Rich, it yeah. says decision. It's The term means to cut away from. I don't know oh, if decision. it's a uh, decision. Yeah, it, it's a Latin word. I don't know if it's a Latin word or not, but it's so we're throwing another kind of different aspect into it. Saying decision is the mental part, and choice is the physical part. Mm -hmm. Now, to stay with the physical part and make it make it support the decision is where everybody goes off the rail. Right. You know. So before we wrap up, any suggestions for people? Hold on. Grace, huh? I yeah, agree that, yeah, so Grace, uh, this is Grace, what's up, North Carolina? Uh, I agree that movement is crucial, moving this, um, the stagnation, yes, as long as you are not doing it as a form of self, yes, self-punishment, self self-punishment, oh, or yeah. running away from it, no. boom, 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 right. she hit it yeah, right yeah. there, 
Good Cause, point. Because that's a good Grace, point. Thank you for this. Yeah. Grace has been doing some work. Ever watch what she's been putting yeah. on? It's freaking wild. Hi, guys. Grace also, probably makes good decisions and choices. Yes, yes. She's, she's lined up. Yep. And also, there's Linda here. Um, hey, guys, it also becomes a habit to do it every day. Yes, yeah. true. It's Linda. It's Linda wild. Quinn. Yes. Hello. Medis Linda Quinn, medicine woman. Nice. Yeah. Oh, snap. She's having a TV show. Like <laughs> Dr. Quinn. <laughs> Um, she so, does have TV. And so just man, I, we're gonna wrap up. But that point she hit was so wild, yeah. so on point. Because I feel like when I see people go for some goal at the beginning of the year, they rush out of the gate and they're not pacing themselves. Because in my judgment, because of some shame or like they never did it before, so I'm gonna do it this time. By golly! And then all of a sudden, then they fall flat on their face and they go right back into this punishment or and that yeah, gets back point. unfortunately that. that gets in into the um that that self-talk tape loop that we have called i'm not worthy i'm mm. not worthy anybody watch wayne's world i'm not worthy, I'm not worthy. <laughs> oh and, and so so it makes it but it makes yeah. you it makes you right about that right yes. so if you're not right about anything at least you can be right about being not worthy excellent oh hey. man. yeah i think that's from wayne Right. Is hey. it? I don't know. <laughs> I, like, I couldn't really get into that show. I don't know what it was. I like Michael Myers and Dan Carter, but I'm just like, yeah. yeah. But listen, this is, this is, <laughs> oh man, I love these conversations because, you know, whether you're seeing this now live or you watch this recording, I think it's important for people to have that distinction between the decision and the choice and to be aware. The key thing I feel like, and you, I just want to know if you agree, the awareness piece around this. Is huge if you want to have success of whatever, whatever next level you're going to, decision that you make, whatever. You going to say something to me? No, that's perfect. Oh, that's wow. perfect. That's um, so now, Linda is a um, energy medicine practitioner. Mm. So we want to, and it, any of these other people, you want to give a shout out to what they do and the healers yeah, that they um, are? Well, I know from, from Grace, I know Grace, like, she's a healer. She's on a path. She just moved. She was living in New Jersey. She just moved down to... Uh, to the and what modality does she use? Um, I know she was... Uh, we talk about the muscle testing, but uh, she's doing some other things. She was a trainer. She did, uh, she, She's so much more than that, though. I mean, muscle like, testing needs to um, be. I feel like, Grace, if, if you're hearing this, like, put in the comments, like, some of the things you do, because I feel like, and I see what she's doing now, like, more on the mindset, and the, just, like, on next level things. And I feel like it's going... What she's doing is she's going to the root. I feel like it's wild because you know people that are like that, and I know people that are like that, and we both know people that are stepping into that. Well, you know, you know what's interesting, and this is this is a whole marketing, not marketing, but um, networking thing, is that it's much better. It's very, it's it's good to be clear on what you do, and it's good to have other people be clear on what you do. Yeah. Because if so I told you somebody to that you, you need to go, time. you need yeah. to go to Paul, you need to go to Linda. I can tell you what Linda does. I can tell you what Paul does. It means a lot for me to be the third party. Me yes. going, hey, you know what? I do great work. They're going, like, yeah, of course you yeah. think you do. Yeah, like, because you, you might say, you might. but you yeah. say I do. It's a whole different whole thing. Story. And that's so, important, man, because, like, a lot of times I'm not great at talking about myself. So let other people do it, but be yeah. clear about what you do yeah. so we can. What, what do you so what I exist. I, I no, thrive. No, no, no. I thrive. You know I want this clear. <laughs> no, yeah. Like so your for elevator me, speech. So for me, I'm a movement specialist. I'm a change agent. Okay. And I use movement. I use mindfulness. I use shamanism. Really, I use whatever I got in my bag to help a person shift. Uh, and, and it's in energy. It's in, it's in physical form. It's in mental energy and emotion. And that's what I do. Who's this? That's not um, it. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Thank you, Linda. Oh man, great. I'm glad you tuned in. So listen. So let's let's uh, let's start to wrap this up. Any tips you want to give the people or anything as far as like, hey, by the way, how they can reach you? Um, you can reach me at on my cell phone 908-803-2077. Some people don't like to do that. I love. Oh, that. yeah. I'm about to but say, leave Mike's a giving message. Out the cell phone leave a message, me? man. Oh, or text. Yeah. That's my cell phone. Um, MikeSchmidtNJ.com. <laughs> Is, is a website I made. Um, I am putting together a, um, what I call, this is my new concept. It's mm -hmm. called insta -chi, like Instagram. Okay. Learning okay. moves one minute at a time. So by the time you could make a complaint that you need to go to the gym and get something, I'm going to take a yoga mat or equipment and just throw it. Not that I am against yoga, but Qigong is so easy and can be done anywhere without equipment. 
soaking your. So you go on my Instagram account, yeah. Mike Schmidt, Michael Schmidt, New Jersey, and you can see some of the like I race a coffee pot. Yes. You know, like while I'm doing coffee, I'm doing <laughs> chicken gum. So oh. you know, you can do exercises, and then you've made a choice. To, you made a decision to do exercises. You made a choice. In a minute, you're done. Mm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and you can do that throughout the day and know mm -hmm. how to do that. So I'm putting a course together to actually tie that up, but it's on my Instagram. We might have to do like an Insta, Insta Chi challenge because I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you, you I know you're talking Chi uh, uh, Gong, but I, I know some yoga goodness too. And also just like movement, like ugh, moving energy, breath work, all these things. By the way, Grace, uh, energy healing, Chi Gong, up, up, yeah, up, 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 yeah, sensation based yeah. mindful, mind coaching, mindfulness coaching. Yeah, buddy. See? Yeah. Coming together. We so listen, yeah, so we need to do this. Oh, um, <laughs> see, the singing, uh, see, last time I was singing on Facebook, man, people were like, are you, is he okay? Like, I am, yeah. by the way. This is my way of clearing energy. All right? Thanks for asking. I love you, too. Anyway, so, so, and listen, um, and my, I'm Paul Newell. You can reach me at uh, info at New Wellness Guide or at Paul at The Corporate Shift. Um, you can also reach me at thecorporateshift.com. Um, I work with companies, leaders, emotional intelligence, mindfulness, diversity, inclusion, all the heavy stuff that needs to be addressed. Reach out to us. You can reach us on Facebook, too. You, you see this here on my Facebook thing. If you have any comments, some things you may want us to discuss, because we're going to get back on this ride. If you have any comments and stuff or things you want to discuss, like I mentioned. We do this every comments. about two weeks. Every about two weeks, yeah. Every about two weeks. Yeah, it's all good, man. I love this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're all Me right. Too. You're all right, man. You're, you, you're, man. you're a good dude. <laughs> we are the world. <laughs> all right, everybody, listen. Hey, Nicole, we're blending. Yeah. Oh, oh, yo. Oh, that's my daughter, oh. Nico. What's it say? No, that's not your daughter. That's, no, oh, that's, that's Nicole. Not Nicole. Oh, that's we're another blending. Nicole. Look. Oh, you know what? I was we're just blending. talking about the thing, but that's a fresh shirt, by the way. That's a tight shirt. Nice. You know, this, was, this shirt was owned by a 94-year-old man. Uh, we'll explain that another time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. Oh, my. All right, everybody. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Be well.